Hello! Good morning, learners and learning facilitators at home. Welcome to our English class. Today, we are in quarter four, week seven. Our topic is about following directions. What is our topic again? Okay. For our lesson objectives, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to follow simple one direction heard and read simple one step direction. Let us review first. Let us see if you still remember our lesson last week. Are you ready now? You will match each word with pictures to phrases that corresponds its meaning. Ah, letter A, we have shovel. B, sickness. Letter C, overflow. Letter D, bandage. Letter E, fasten. And letter F, battlefield. For number one, a strip of material used to cover and wrap up wounds. Is it A, B, C, D, E, or F? Uh, what is your answer? And the correct answer is letter D, bandage. Do you get it correct? Very good. Let's have number two. To flow over the brim or top off. What is your answer? A, B, C, D, E, or F? And the correct answer is letter C. It is overflow. Number three. It is a tool. For digging or lifting materials such as soil, coal, and sand. What is it? And if your answer is letter A, shovel, you got it correctly. Number four, the state of being ill. What is it? Is it A? B, C, D, E, or F? And the correct answer is letter B, sickness. It is the state of being ill. Number five. To make firm and secure. What is your answer? If your answer is letter E, Fasten, that is correct. And lastly, number six. A place where military battle is found. If your answer is letter F, you got it correctly. The correct answer is letter F. How many correct answers did you get? That's great! That shows that you really know our previous lesson about the meaning of words. For our preliminary activities, you will just choose the letter of the correct answer. Uh, ready with you your show me board. You will just write the letter of the correct answer. Number one, how do you follow directions? Is it A, ask questions on what you do not understand? B, listen carefully to the instructions? Or letter C, all of the above? Is it A, B, or C? Choose your 
answer. And the correct answer is letter C. All of the above. Because you need to ask question if you don't understand. And listen carefully in every instruction. Number two. It is important to follow directions and listen. Is it A? Yes. B. No. What is your answer? And the correct answer is yes. It is important to follow direction and listen carefully to the instructions that is being said. Number three. Which is not a step for following directions? Is it A. Ignore the person? Or B. Look at the person? Or letter C. Focus on what is being said? Is it A, B, or C? And what is your answer? The correct answer is letter a, ignore the person, is not a step for following direction. Number four, which of the following is one of the steps for following directions? Is it A, say okay, B, do what has been asked right away, or letter C, look at the person? And the correct answer is letter B. Do what has been asked right away. And lastly, number five, listening to directions means A. Following directions at the moment and in the way they were given. Letter B. What goes in one ear goes out the other. Or letter C. Finally, following directions after they were repeated many times. Is it A, B, or C? If your answer is letter A, you got it correctly. Very good. Let us listen to an action song and try to imitate or follow the movements you heard in the song, The Hokey Pokey. Are you ready now? You put one hand yeah, in, you put one it. hand out, you put one hand in and you shake, 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 shake. You do the hokey pokey and turn around Everybody turn around You put two hands in, you put two hands out You put two hands in and you shake, 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 shake You do the hokey pokey and clap your hands Everybody clap your hands You put one foot in, you put one foot out You put one foot in and you shake, 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 shake You do the hokey pokey and sit down Everybody please sit down You put two feet in, you put two feet out You put two feet in And you shake, 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 shake You do the hokey pokey and stand up Everybody please stand up You put your head in, you put your head out you put your head in and you shake, 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 shake. You do the hokey pokey and sing a song. La 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 la. You put your backside in, you put your backside out. You put your backside in and you shake, 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 shake. You do the hokey pokey and be quiet. Everybody, please be quiet. Shh. 
You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in, and you shake, 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 shake. You do the hokey pokey and take a bow. Everybody take a bow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you enjoy the action song? Great! What is the title of the song? It is The Hokey Pokey. What actions did you follow in the song? Can you give some? Okay, put one part of the body, like for example, is your hand. One hand in and out and the others and then what else shake it shake 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 and what else anymore do the hokey pokey and turn around and clap your hands clap my hands sit down and stand up and sing a song. And lastly, take a bow. <laughs> what did you do to follow the actions you heard in the song? Uh, you may say your answer to your companion at home. Do you know what is the difference between directions and following directions? Let us now differentiate directions from following directions. Directions, it helps you focus on the details of the spoken language through step-by-step -step instructions or what tell you what to do. That need to be followed while following directions shows your ability to complete a task or a request it requires you to sequence information by following the, the given steps is that clear very good let us know why is it important to follow directions and remember it? First, to avoid any trouble or danger, be at home, in the park, in school, or wherever you are. It is very important so that you will not be in trouble or in danger anywhere. Second, it is also important to follow directions to make sure that things are done right. In order for you to do the things correctly or rightly, you should know how to follow directions. And lastly, it helps you focus on the details of spoken language through step-by-step -step instructions so focusing what are the step-by-step uh, -step instructions that is being said is very important remember it here are some of the examples first ring or encircle Number two, underline word. You will draw a line under the word underline. Number three, shade. Ah, this is what we do if we shade. You will see the shaded part. 
And lastly, number four is color. Uh, you were so excited if your teacher are telling you to color something. Do you know how can a learner follow instructions effectively? Here are the steps. First, listen carefully to the instructions or the directions. Number two, or second, focus carefully to the instructions. You need to pay attention or to focus to the instructions. In order for you to do not miss any instructions or instruction that is being said. And number three, ask questions on what do you not understand. If ever that you don't understand the instruction or instructions that is being given, you may ask whoever told you to do that instruction. In order for you to be, uh, to do it uh, clearly or to do it right. For our learning task 1, read and understand what the sentence tells you in each given number. In your notebook, copy each box and follow what each sentence tells you. Are you ready now with your notebook? Uh, let's begin. Number 1. Circle the words that name objects or things. We have... Anna, pencil, box, and dove. Uh, what is your answer? Uh, you should encircle the words pencil and box. Do you do the same thing? Very good. Number two, box the words that refers to colors. We have here flower, white, school, and green. Uh, what are the words that you box? If you box the word white and green, that is correct. Number three, Cross out the words that name places. We have seashore, vase, church, and bag. And what are the names that we should cross out? And that is, or that those are, seashore and church. Uh, do we have the same answer? That's great. That means that you are following directions carefully. For our learning task 2, tell the number words from the circle. Write your answer in your notebook. Uh, we have here 50 ice leaves kind metal crayons 20 one bird apple three hundred and below oh. what are the words that we should write in your notebook uh, write the number words Are you through? Uh, let us answer. And the number of words that should be written are 50. What else? Very good. It is 20, 1, 3, and lastly, 
hundred. Do you get all the five number words? Very good. For our learning task three, identify the box that contains words arranged in alphabetical order. Color it yellow. Do this in your notebook. Uh, we have here letter A, B, and C. I will read the words on letter A. Uh, you should look at the beginning of the words. It should be uh, arranged in alphabetical order. Uh, letter A, butterfly, caterpillar, donkey, eagle. Letter B, eagle, donkey, butterfly, caterpillar. Letter C, caterpillar, butterfly, eagle, and donkey. Uh, you will color the box with yellow. Uh, what box did you color yellow? And the correct answer is letter A. For our learning task 4, draw nutritious foods you have to eat to keep yourself healthy. Name what you have drawn. Do this in your notebook. Uh, you may color your drawings. For our learning task 5, follow 1 to 2 step directions for each activity. Do this in your notebook. Number 1, draw a cat. Color it orange. Are you through? Let's see. You will draw a cat and color it orange. Do we have the same output? Great! Number two, write your complete name inside the box. Below your name, write your age. Are you through? Uh, your answer should be like this. Uh, here is your name and there is a box. And below your name, you will write your age. Uh, do you got it correctly? Uh, very good. Uh, let's do it. Now read and do the directions as follows. Number one, draw a square. Number two, inside the square, draw a half happy face. Number three, on the left side of the square, draw a triangle. Number four, inside the triangle, write the first letter of the alphabet. And number five, on the right side of the square, draw a circle. Next, number six, inside the circle, write the fifth letter of the alphabet. And number seven, underline letters A and E. Number eight, draw a rectangle around your work. Uh, let's see your work. Uh, this should be the image or if you follow these directions, your output should be like this. Do we have the same output? Very good. Let us complete the sentences below. Select your answers from the choices in the box. 
Do this in your notebook. The choices are request, following directions, details, and steps. Uh, I will read the sentences first. And you will think of the answers. Number one, blank shows your ability to complete a task or a blank. Number two, it requires you to sequence information following the given blank. For number three, it helps you focus on the blank of spoken language through step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, what are your answers in the blanks? Okay. For number one, the corresponding answer should be following directions. Number two, what is your answer? And the correct answer should be request. Number three, it is steps. And lastly, number four, is details. Ah, let us read the sentences with our answers. Following directions show your ability to complete a task or a request. It requires you to sequence information following the given steps. It helps you focus on the details of spoken language through step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, just remember it. Thank you for listening to our new lesson. I'm Teacher Diana Lynn, who are willing to teach you every lesson. Till next time and till next our lesson. Goodbye. Take care.